Alrighty, so I am back and I have everything in this box of these are the miscellaneous items. So the necklace, I have it separate because there were matching uh, bracelet and earrings, I believe. I may have gotten mixed up in the box somewhere. Oh, there we go. So there they are. So it's a three. Oh, I want to say two fur. A three fur, a four fur, because you get the earrings. You get the necklace and you get the bracelet. Now this is beautiful for Christmas for sure. Really nice for going out um, or just any kind of special occasion if you just want to dress up and look flashy. I, I love this. So for the three pieces, I would sell the set for $10. I think this is a really nice uh, for costume jewelry. This is great. So there's that. Oh, you know what? I took away the measuring because I was thinking no more brace necklaces, but I do have like two. So let's see. Let's check that way, you know, because it is short. Um, I believe you would wear it like a collar or a choker kind of thing. So with it closed. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to open it up so we can see what this can measure up to. Let's see. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so... End to end, that's 15 inches, so yeah, it's um, depends on your neck and all that good stuff, but that's how long it is from end to end. And the bracelet, let's see, this measures seven and a half inches, and then the earrings, just so you know how long they are, they hang, they're two inches long, so earrings, bracelet, necklace, ten dollars. Okay. I don't do too many earrings, but if it's something that like kind of stands out and I'm interested, then I'll, I'll maybe do it. So I think these are gorgeous too. Um, they're light, like a, feels like a flat, and this feels like, almost like enamel, but it has this, uh, design of these flowers with that blue background. So I would do three bucks on these. I think they're pretty neat. Um, there's a couple of rings. Let's see where my size are. So I've got this large statement ring, and that is measuring right about eight inch, uh, right about a size eight. So that's a uh, interesting piece. I would sell that for three. Let's see, we've got this really cool. I like this. This has uh, elephants with the trunk up. That's good luck. A solid backing. This one has the little rhinestones and the redstone for the eyes. Uh, let's see. That one. Six and a half, so maybe six and three quarters to seven. Yeah. Because it's the sevens right there covers it, but it's from a little bit under. So, so it's about six and three quarters you know, to seven. And I would do three dollars on that. Unless the ring is like crazy spectacular I'll probably just do that I love this stone really pretty um, and this is also seven and a half so same on that three dollars what else we got what else we got okay now this one is a stretch one so I don't think you need to I'll just go ahead and put it on there but it does stretch so yeah you can stretch that up or down um, super big purple stone um adjustable so yeah i would do two dollars on that one this one is another one but this is actually stretch and it's got this really cool stone in the middle kind of looks like iridescent and then it's these leaves so before it's like stretched out it's at about seven and a half and then you can stretch it much larger so, so that one this is kind of cool this is kind of neat let me see so there's like three pieces to this uh, let's see if I can find those earrings. I see one. Yeah, here they are. Okay, so I'm not from Miami, but I know it's um, one of the schools. Um, gosh, if you're from there, I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't remember where when I looked it up. Um, oh, here we go. Is it Miami Gator or something? I believe it is. So it's got earrings. It's got the little stretch bracelet with the gator and the colors and then the stretch ring I just think that's adorable so I would do five dollars for all of them together I just you got to have the whole set and really 
go all out. Wear it all. If that's your home team and you're interested, yep, that's great. Let's see. We've got some earrings. Just some fashion jewelry hook earrings. Get that turned around. And these have a really pretty design to them. So I liked the styles and the color. Um, if you're interested, I would do three on those. Got a bracelet with these cool, like, swirls. Reminds me of the Twilight Zone or the uh, Hypnotism. And has that little closure there. Let's see. So this is about six and a half. And I would do two dollars on that. Let's see. And then we've got some redhead, redhead, red hat society uh, pin. We've got that one with the red stones. We've got some earrings. And I think there were one or two other pieces. Um, Okay, I'm going to have to come back to that. Not sure where they're at right now. I think they're in the box somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. I'm going to move along. But if anybody's interested in that, I would, you know, for sure lot these up. The earrings and the uh, pin for three bucks. And let's see. Next one. I love these. Uh, my mom has a pair of 14 karat gold pair of these, and they're super hard to find. They called them wedding band hoops and I just love these so if I could wear costume these I would wear because I I like to wear earrings I have to wear a little pair to keep my ears open but I am allergic to wearing like anything other than gold in my ear I told my mom it's her fault because she pierced my ears with gold so <laughs> all these years later here I am but um this is a really nice pair so I would do four dollars on these I like these a lot I wish I could wear them Oh, here's the other little red hat. So it's a different style of earring. The other ones hang, and these just go right up against your ear. So um, if you wanted the pin and the two pairs of earrings, $5. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. This black. Well, it almost looks floral, but not necessarily. And it's not like plastic. I don't know what it is, but um, it's got a hard finish. Feels sturdy, and it's about seven and a half right there. Yep, and I would do two dollars on that. Here's a nice big heavy silver tone. Oh, you know what? This has some oxidation or discoloring, whatever you want to call it. So eh, I'll put that in the crafted box. All right, next up. I don't really have a chance to like inspect them. I just kind of pull out what I'm going to pull out. You know, what I can immediately see is not going to be for sale. And then the rest as I go through, I find out. So I think these are really neat. Um, reminds me of the old um, mosaic glass that you put on the windows. Just different designs hanging. So I would do two on these. They're really, really cute. Fun pair. Um... These are heavy. They almost feel like pewter. Um, I'm sure they're not, but these are very heavy. Um, heavy duty, big. Um, I would say if you can't wear, if you're like super dainty and can't wear heavy earrings and you're interested, these are very heavy, so just know that. Um, they have this silver with the black enamel tone. and Kind of reminds me of like a zebra or some kind of, you know, animal. Pretty neat. I like these, so I'll do three on those. See, another ring, fashion ring, gold tone with this pink stone, and that measures up about seven and a half. Do two dollars on that. This one's really pretty. It's got the uh, looks like rose gold color in the middle, and then it's got these open sides and the flat back. And this one measures approximately seven. And I would do three dollars on this one. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I'm getting tangled up here. I'll uh, we'll do another ring. So this one has these two. They almost look like musical notes, but this swirl design with the stones. This one measures seven and a half. And I would do three on that. These two pair of hook earrings. 
Oh, these are not the pair. <laughs> I have two similar in there that are almost look alike, but they're not. Oh, here we go. Gosh, so many pieces of this Red Hat Society. So yeah, I wouldn't even add anything in. I would just, $5 still. So two pins, two pairs of earrings, and that's yours if you decide you want it. Um, this little cute shell pendant. And it's just got the little shell on the jumper here. I would do $2 on that. It's really cute if you're into nautical, sea, that kind of stuff. And this one has these really cool carvings in it. Looks almost Mayan, but um, it's just a wide band. And that one measures about eight and a half. And I would do two on that. Got this huge statement piece if you want a stone. Let's see, this is Leah Sophia. And that's a six, let's see, is that six and a half or six, six and a quarter. So I would do five on this. This is really pretty, really pretty stone, very bright. Um, let's see, at this floral, is this another one? Yeah, somebody donated all their Leah Sophia stones, rings. Oh no, this is a much bigger size, so probably not. <laughs> so that goes up to eight and a half, between eight and a quarter and eight and a half. And I would do four on this one. I thought this was really neat. It's got like the wide band, the middle is like receding, and then it sticks out here along the ends, this copper tone color. And then this is like, it almost feels like sandpaper. And it's got like little glimmers of um, like glitter. You can see in that, so really cool wide band. This one measures, let's see. I guess at the closest part, that would be about eight and a half. It sits between eight and a half and nine, so. And I would do four on this. Let's see. And this looks like a men's Leah Sophia. Somebody like their Mia Leah Sophia. So this is also uh, eight and a quarter. Really cool. I would do four on that. Let me guess, we got another Leah Sophia? Nope, not this one. Ah, uh, that's too bad. This is really pretty. It's a intricate, nice design where it alternates, but it's rubbing off here. So, no good. I'm put that in the peppers. All right. Next pair. Got some earrings here. I thought these were cute. So, we've got the hanging hoops, and then that open hoop, and it's got these peach um, hanging circles also with inside it. So these are just, just a fun pair. Um, I would do two on those. Let's see if we can match up the right earrings now. Okay, so I've got, yes, this is the first pair. It's like filigree, super light, super, super light. So you gotta make sure I don't blow away, keep them on your ears. And these I would do $2 on. Just, they're very, very light. We've got another ring. Let's see. And no maker's mark on that. Well, that's about seven and a half to seven and three quarters. And this has like this open double, I would say horseshoe, double horseshoe. That's what I would call it. And I would do two on that. Let's see. Now oh, this is cute. Got two purple stones. One lighter, one darker, and then what's this inside? Mm, can't really read it. Give me one second. Let's see. Looks like it's, I don't have my loop. I put it away. I can't read what it says inside, but uh, nonetheless, nevertheless, let's move on. We'll measure it. And that's at about seven and a half. And I would do three on this. Here's the other little matching set. I really, for a second, was like, oh, did I get gold? Because it reminds me of, um, I don't know if I mentioned, I used to work at a pawn shop, like, when I was 20, like, a million years ago, like, over 20 years ago, and so I used to deal with jewelry, and I, like, knew the ins and outs of, like, gold and silver, and we had the same testing equipment, um, 
and I swear this looked like these would come in every day and somebody would like jack it up. It would be totally kinked and broken. And so we were always taking this kind of necklace for scrap gold and people would just sell it for, you know, whatever the market value was. I swear it looks this herringbone. I think that's what we used to call it. Herring, I think that's what it's called. Herringbone chains, this flat, but, um, it's not gold, but I, I swear it folded for a minute. So we've got a set here. This one measures 18 and a half. So about 17 inches and the bracelet is about three inches. So this one, probably one of the better imitation ones I've ever seen. So, um, for the set, I would do like seven bucks. Cause I think this is a really nice set. It's I, I thought it was real. I got excited. My heart skipped a beat for a second. And then I was like, nope, that is not. Um, here's a nice thick, like, wedding band. And looks like we do have a maker. Let's see. What is that? Looks like it says Edco Chia. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that one. But as long as it's not worth, you know, $50, I sell it for $5. It's a six and a quarter. But it is very pretty. Here's a off-white with silver trim ring. This is another Leah Sophia. This is an eight and a quarter. I would do three on this. Really nice. If you like Leah Sophia, I have some rooms for you. Okay, and we've got, this one looks like a, it's really cute. It's very sweet. It looks like a um, flower with the yellow stone in the middle and the clear stones around. It's very dainty, very sweet. That's a seven and a quarter, and I would do three on that. Very pretty. Here's another nice, looks like a wedding set, wedding band. Don't see a maker. It's not a Leo Sophia. And it looks like about a seven and a half. And I would do five on these, on this, not these, it's only one. <coughs> Excuse me. We have, I forget what you call these. It's not clip-on, it's not hook. Oh, posts. It's just like, yeah, regular, you know, earrings with the posts. But they're really, they're really cute. Um, got these tri faux pearls, got three, like a flower, and uh, gold tone around that. And I would do three on those. Okay. Not too, too much left. Not terribly too much. Okay. Sorry about that. It's just hard to go through all of it. Okay. Next piece. Well, this is a little bit of a statement. If you want to be making a statement. A uh, really pretty back turquoise, like enamel back. And then on top, it's got the stones. I don't see a maker. And it's like a dome. Uh, let's see. That's about seven and a half. Between seven and seven and a quarter, sorry. And I would do three on that. I just love these stones. I love these red stones. Red is my favorite color. In case you haven't noticed, but I just love these. Um, there's three hanging red stones. I don't know if those are cabochon. I can't tell because now you know what? It's flat on the back. So I think the cabochons are round. I'm trying to learn. So forgive me if I'm ignorant to what the correct terms is. And I appreciate that I've been getting some really helpful feedback. Not like could be negative Nellies, but just nice, helpful feedback. And I really appreciate that. I mean, you can do as you like, but I appreciate the helpfulness because, you know, we're all here. And we should all help each other if we can. So, um, these are beautiful. I like these. So, $3 on that set. Let's see. A couple more rings. We'll just kind of interchange between earring, ring, pin, that kind of thing. So, here we have, like, a solitaire. Um, looks like some kind of mark, but I really can't tell. I have to look at that closer. Yeah, not sure on that. The stone isn't like super clear and beautiful like some of the other ones. I know, you know, they're like CZs or Kona, whatever, but this one is not as beautiful as that. So if somebody wants it just so that they can, you know, wear it, uh, I would do a dollar on that. 
but know that it's not a perfect clear CC stone. Something else that just made me laugh, hilarious. Um, if you're a fan of Parks and Rec, Ron Swanson, <laughs> his face. Um, these post earrings have his face. Clearly somebody loved him and made these. Um, he's got a wonderful mustache. So yeah, I would do two bucks on these because they're fantastic. So hopefully somebody else <laughs> can get some use out of them because they're great. Uh, let's see. Next, next, next. Next pair of hanging. These are similar to the ones that have the peach color. I wonder if they're the same. Let's see. If they are, compare them up if you like them for a little bit cheaper. Well, these are, yeah, they are the same. So I would do them both for three bucks if you like them. Yeah. Together as a set. And I don't know why, but when I saw these, I just thought of my, my Lita, my Willita. She's passed, but... Um, her Christmas ornament. She had some really cool German old Christmas ornaments. Um, she had a thrift shop and an antique shop when I was a kid. So she used to just get any kind of antiques and stuff. So I always saw these cool old antiques. These, that's what they remind me of. They look like old European like Christmas ornaments. But I mean, that's a good thing. I think they're really cool. So I would do $2 on these. I just think they're really pretty. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> We've got to stop with the Red Hat Society. So these are a little different than the other ones. These have hanging uh, little beads there. So the hat, the lady's um, profile, open profile, and the beads hanging. So yeah, so this is going to be a hell of a lot. Um, sorry, excuse the language. So we've got the, I'm going to go over it again. So here's the pin. Here's these hanging post earrings. Here is another pin that's all blinged out. Here we have the flat ones that go against your ear posts, and then these dangle. So yeah, that is two, three pairs of earrings and two pins. I'm just gonna do a buck each. If somebody, I know they're like a little society, usually older ladies. If somebody knows someone or who thinks they would want them, go for it, buy them, and make somebody's day. Five bucks for the whole lot of them. That would be great. If not, yeah, they may go into a lot, or I'm not sure if I would listen. Oh, oop, 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 oop. Okay, let's get a couple more rings out. I promise we're almost done. I know this video is going to be obnoxiously long. But that's why I split it, because then you would want to pull your eyeballs out. So, hopefully it's not terribly boring. Alright, if, if it's too long, I will split it again. I'll make it three parts. So we've got these two rings that have little, pretty little stones. I don't see any makers. Um, they kind of look like they go together. I don't know if they're the same size. Let's check, let's check shall we? Because they, I feel like they would be a little pair that would go together. So that's eight and three quarters, unless they're way off in size. No, they're very, very close. That's like right after the eight and a half. So I'd say eight and a half to eight and three quarters. So if somebody, if you want the two of them, four bucks for the two of them, or two dollars a piece if you don't want both of them. Um, this really pretty wide like wedding band and it says oh well isn't that sweet it says virtue so that's nice nice wholesome thing so seven do two dollars on that let's see we got another pair of silver tone with these two black beads and then it's got like this infinity swirl underneath that so two bucks on those we're getting down. We're getting down to the end, buddy. Yeah. All right. Now we've got some more. Leah Sophia. And I think these are just adorable. I actually really like this brand. The more things, pieces I've been finding, they make nice quality stuff. I don't know what the retail value is, but these are really nice. Even the backings have Leah Sophia on it. And these wide backings, and they're really pretty. They look like flowers. So I would do $3 on these. They're very nice. Here's another ring. The copper tone colored with that black stone in the middle and that's about an eight and a half two bucks on that i've got this little cameo pin uh, i don't see any let me check. I'll click on the light don't see any maker's marks 
I'm going to do four dollars on this. I think it's very cute. Um, if anybody wants this pin, I would do a dollar on this. Or if you're buying other things, I'll just throw it in for you. If you, I just don't want to send out one thing by itself. But if you uh, buy, you know, at least ten dollars worth of stuff on, you can have that pin if you'd like it. So these pretty yellow stones um, with the post. I would do three on these. Those are nice. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this was just a loose pendant. Um, reminded me of Dark Side of the Moon for some reason. Um, I would do two bucks on that if you're interested. I think these are really nice. And they've got the three hanging... I don't know what you call it. My brain is not working anymore. And, uh, yeah, I would do three on those. Let's see. Oh, I just think these are precious. <gasps> for Christmas, for holidays, we have got their little snowmen, but they don't have, like, a face. So you don't have to be five years old. You know, these are cute. You can still wear them, and they're festive, and they're just cute. I love these. So three bucks on those. I could wear them. Again, I would wear them, but I can't. Uh, we have this gold tone sparkler. That's what we used to call them. The engagement rings and rings. A sparkler. Six and three quarters. And I would do three dollars on this one. And we have another blingy little pendant. Looks like the tree of life. I would do two dollars on that. Now this, I couldn't tell because I didn't have a chance to really look at anything. I was like, is this tarnished with copper? But no, actually it looks like the, I don't think so. Yeah, the little jumps are copper colored and then the earrings themselves are like the silver tone. So I think that's just the design. And uh, it's like filigree design, hanging chandelier type earrings. Pretty neat. So two dollars on those if you're interested all right and just keep saying that if you're interested got some what do we got what do we got what else we got another little dainty ring with a gold tone simple band don't see a maker but that would be nice and that's an eight and three quarters and i would do two dollars on that Hey, we've got another one of the Florida. So we've got the bracelet, the earrings, the ring, and guess what? We've also got a necklace. So another dollar added to that bundle, and you can have all four pieces. And we've got these hanging like flower with beautiful stones in there. Very vibrant, shiny, very shiny. So I would do three on these. Really nice. And me and my little macabre self, I just love this because I don't love them in real life. I had a spider kind of like attack me and like throw its little things on me on my chest when I was young. And it like burned and scared the crap out of me. So not fond of them in real life, but they do serve a purpose, you know, um, like all creatures. But oh, I don't love them. Um, in person. But I love, love, love this pen. I say all that to say that I love Halloween and I love creepy things like this spider pendant. So I may keep this for myself if nobody buys it because my mom dresses up and loves to have like this costume jewelry for Halloween. So I would do five dollars and if not I'll just keep it. It's super cute. And I believe there were some earrings that kind of, oh, maybe they're not a pair. Shoot. I know I saw something Oh, yeah, I separated it, hoping that I would find the mate, but no mates. Look at that. How sad is that? So we've got this super cool one right here, and then this one here. So neither one of these, but hey, some people are punk rock, and they wear, like, one type of earring and a different type of earring. So these are kind of cool. I'm just going to put them to the side with the um, pendant. And we've got a little pair of silver tone hoops. I would do $2 on these. And then... Here we go. We're getting down to the last two, three. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Look what I just found. 
So we do have a pair and it's got the red butt. So these are super cool. Um, I would do four on these. I really like those. Unfortunately, the other black one. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. How did I miss that? Okay. So yes, these are special. These are really cool. These I would do $5. And probably nobody else is going to want them, and I'll probably end up giving them to my mom, and she's going to love them. But if you want them, I will sell them for $5. She always tells me, sell it first. If you don't sell it, then I'll take it. So, okay, mom, I will try to sell them, but if not, they're yours. Okay, I've got these two hanging, very thin uh, hook earrings. So, two bucks on those if you're interested. I mean, why would you need to know the price if you're not interested, right? So, I like these. I like the middle stone. It looks like the galaxy. I don't know. So, these hanging filigree. Um, I would do two on those also. And somehow, this ended up in here. Is this a necklace? Yeah. I don't know why it's in here. But just a link silver necklace. And that's 10 inches, so 20. I would do $2 on that one. I will put that in the necklaces. So that is all of the sellable items. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm just going to do a quick glance over on what I'm not keeping because I'm sure people are curious. I'm going to try and weigh it, take out the weight of the box just to see how much is left after what I'm selling and just to kind of get a gauge on like the value of this. And maybe that'll help you make an informed decision if you are looking at possibly purchasing one. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. I just weighed it. So it's approximately eight pounds left after, you know, the box and everything. So a little, right about half of the box I would consider like not sellable. And honestly, with the five pound blue box, I generally pull out maybe a pound if that, you know, and um, so that's about 20%. So for 50% back, and then, you know, I can sell a lot, the crafter's lot. I mean, there's good pieces, like I said, you know, like some of these are pretty. They just might have a little something, you know, this has like a little blemish that I wouldn't sell it. But I mean, you could wear it. It's pretty. Um, what I tend to get a lot and I don't like at all is the hair things. They send a lot of, I've gotten that in a couple. Um, and just other things like this, you know, it's, there's, there's nice things in here. There's some nice things. It's just things I don't want to mess with. So, like I said, this is really nice. But, yeah, there's there's a lot of things in there. So, this is all of the things that will go into a crafter's lot. Um, what I try to do, what I've been doing with the last few I did, I just load up a um, medium flat rate box. And you'd be surprised how much you can get in there between 10 and 15 pounds. Um, depending on what the jewelry is and so give somebody a good value they're paying a flat price just for the you know based on the weight and they can get all kinds of goodies and so i think it's a great deal um so i should be able to recoup you know half of my money um selling the lot and then just selling a few pieces so yeah this is this was like definitely worth the investment now be wary because like what i saw when i was researching and pricing um, they had a ton of the mixed jewelry lot mystery boxes in my city and I have a location that I could pick up, but the, they just went sky high and I wouldn't have to pay shipping, but I mean, it was just way too much. And then some of the other ones had great prices. They were like, buy it now for $10, but then they had a $10 or $15 handling fee. And then even though it only weighed, let's say 10 pounds, it would say, um FedEx shipping estimated at $30 and I was like what the f are you doing like they're trying to make their money on the shipping on the handling and so it makes you look like oh I'm getting a great deal but that's how they get you so if you educate yourself look at all that like I found them not in my city but like close enough and they were not doing like inflated um like whatever it said like 10 pound mystery box jewelry box designer whatever um, and then I looked at FedEx and then it was like 11 or 12 pounds, which is what it should be because the box is going to be between, you know, one to two pounds. So that's right on. And because it was like one state over, it only cost $8. And then their handling was only like $2, whereas most of them want five, 10. They get really greedy with those handling fees. Um, so, you know, you look at the shipping, are they charging an exorbitant amount, crazy, like overpriced flat fee or crazy weight? 
and what the handling is. And then if you can find one that, you know, has reasonable handling, no handling, I found, I just got a box. Um, it was a buy it now. I paid eight bucks. It was seven something shipping and I'm super, I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to do that one next. And I could see what the items were like most of it. And it looked like, I mean, there were two pieces that should pay for it. Like, I mean, there were a couple of good pieces. I didn't really get to like see it all. Cause you know, it's like on top of each other, but I mean, you can basically tell like, okay, this is, you know, something I want to dig through. Um, I know for $15 total, like it was five pounds. That's still less than what I would have paid on the blue buck site. And, you know, they put everything through the machine and like when it registers and it picks up, you know, pieces of gold and silver, whatever, they pull that out, obviously, but I know things slip through, but you know, I think you have a better chance maybe finding it at an auction. Like, I don't know if all the stores have those machines, but anyhow, even if it's not, if I'm just going to get costume jewelry anyways, and you know, a lot of it is just going to be junk, I would rather get my money's worth and pay two dollars a pound a dollar a pound three dollars a pound rather than eight dollars a pound for the same thing so you know just a uh, food for thought for you um yeah i don't know if i'm completely burned out on the blue boxes but i've been burned so many weeks in a row i'm just like getting real tired of it so <laughs> and i know there's plenty of other people that are like good i can go in and buy one and great and i hope for everybody like i want everybody to succeed you know i want to spread the wealth. I want everybody to do great. And I hope you do find it. But I just know like, man, it gets frustrating buying them every week and just getting junk and barely enough, you know, sometimes not even to cover the box. And of course, it tells you explicitly, like there's no guarantee, but it's just like, man, you get gutted when you see like people just get amazing boxes and you're happy for them. But it's like your box thinks. Wah, wah. So what can you do? But um, I feel like this is probably the way I'm going to go if I can find decent boxes, you know, um, I'm going to look at different auction sites and those kind of things because I can't drive during, you know, the week um, and uh, have somebody take me or whatever if I'm feeling sick. But, you know, I still need to, like, make money, still need to sell on eBay, need to do my things. And this is an easy way to source. And I already have a garage full of hard goods, so I don't want to get big things. So this is perfect because I can fit tons and tons of inventory into a small bin. So, um you know, I, I think this is the way to go for me. So anyways, I've rambled on long enough. I said I was going to make a short video and it just went on and on and on. So I am so sorry. Um, uh, but I appreciate everybody that has subscribed and that has commented and that has reached out to like help support my channel and to, you know, purchase something like that's amazing. You know, it takes so much time to clean and list things and put them up and you might make just, you know, a little bit more that way. And, you know, you guys get a great deal. I make some money. Um, it, it's a win-win for everybody. So I just, this is amazing. I'm just like blown away because my initial reason for doing it was just to share like what I'm getting. Cause I think it's cool. I love watching people open it. I just like, I'm a gambler. I like to see, you know, what are you going to get in the surprise and all that. So to find out that I could actually even like recoup some of the money from buying as it gets expensive every week. Um, this is great. So I just, just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody and I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And, um, the next video will be the, um, other box that I got, um, on the auction or buy it now or whatever. So I'm excited to see what I get for 15 bucks with shipping and the price of it. That's pretty good. So I'm excited. So we'll see what happens, but, um, you know, I, I, at that point it's fine. You know, it's long as you're not getting, <laughs> taken advantage of by them so all right well i appreciate you guys again and i will see you in the next video bye guys be kind to one another and i'll see you next time